Hi, and welcome to season three of Simply Fresh Food with Chef Renee. Woohoo! I am so excited to be back. Thank you very much. And this season, we have got a lot of things planned for you. We are going to do things from my travels, both abroad and here. I think you're going to like it. Today, we're going to be making congee. Let's get started with that. We are going to make congee today. And congee is an Asian dish that's traditionally served if someone's feeling under the weather. And it's made with chicken stock and rice and then a lot of nutrient-bound greens. So what we're going to do today, we're going to put a little spin on it, a little Simply Fresh food kick to it. We are going to use grits. That's right grits. We are going to cook those grits in chicken stock, which I have some chicken stock on the burner right now. And to that, we're going to add some other flavors to it. So let me just go ahead and add those additional flavors to it. We got some scallions. And just because I want to make sure that it's uh, more savory, I add a little bit of onions. I have some ginger here. And I'm going to put, you know, just three cubes in there, maybe a fourth one. And we're going to bring that all back up to a boil. Uh, it was boiling then, but we're going to bring it right back up to a boil. Then we're going to add to it the grits. Now, this is about um, four cups of stock, but you want to keep uh, some water handy just in case you need to add more water because the grits have thickened. So I have my water over to the side just for that. And I have about a cup of grits and I have my whisk ready and it's boiling so we're gonna go ahead and add those in. Now I like to whisk when I'm adding my grits and that is just to be sure we are not getting any lumps. Now, you want to, or may want to, and I've done this both ways, uh, take out the vegetables and take out the ginger uh, just prior to adding your grits. But since I really want it to be potent and um, full of flavor, I'm gonna leave some of those in. I may take the ginger out after a little bit before the grits actually thicken up, but I'm gonna leave it in for now. I'm going to whisk a little bit more. And from this point, just follow the directions on the packaging for the grits. I have my temperature turned to uh, medium, uh, and that's been going for a little bit. Uh, when you're ready, you can turn it down. Turn it down. I'm from the south, so I'm using, um, I'm going to use the whole grits. I'm not going to use the one minute and heaven forbid the instant, but I'm going to use these and I'm going to put my lid back on. I'm going to leave the lid partially off because I want uh, to keep an eye on it and I don't want it to cook too fast. Thus our secret. So we're going to go ahead and let that cook for a bit. Now, what I also wanted to get started was we are going to have the toppings. Kanji, like I said, um, because of the reasoning behind the cooking of this dish, uh, we want to pack everything with as much nutrients 
as we can. So I'm going to put a little oil on the pan, in the pan, and what we're going to do is first, I'm going to infuse that oil with my garlic. I'm actually going to fry up garlic. Who eats fried garlic? Garlic lovers all over, especially me. So I'm going to add about here I have a half a cup of oil. Now that is and may seem a lot of oil, but I'm going to infuse it with a lot of flavors. By the time I'm finished, it's not going to be that much oil left. So I'm going to turn out my burner and we are going to let that oil get hot. I'm going to keep an eye on my grits. Let me take a look. They are looking really, really wonderful. Oh, they are looking just fantastic. And you know, with the chicken stock, as well as these uh, vegetables that are in there, it, uh, it's making the grits turn a little color, which is fabulous, and I love that about it. So we are gonna let that cook for a bit, wait till this gets a little bit hotter, and then we're gonna add our garlic. Now, I have garlic here, and the garlic is chopped uh, um, uh, it is chopped, not minced. It is chopped rather finely though. And we're gonna cook it just until it becomes like a light brown. And the reason we're gonna let it get a light brown is when the garlic is removed and it sits on a plate with a few paper towels on it, then it will turn colors and darken, which is perfect. And it's gonna have this crispy, crunchy, just delightful taste um, to it. Now that my oil is hot, let's add the garlic. Now, while I'm frying up that garlic, which will be very quick, I'll tell you about kanji. Kanji is typically made with uh, rice, but Chef Renee style, kicked up, we are using the grits. And I'm telling you, they smell delicious. They, they have this wonderful earthy smell with the onions in it and um, uh, a little bit of the uh, scallion tops. There we are. And see, I told you that would be really, really quick. Now, make sure that you have a plate ready and we're going to scoop that out. I'm going to lift the pan just a little. And it's this beautiful golden brown. And I want to make sure I get all of it. Garlic candy. All right. And you want to make sure that you get out as much of the garlic as you can because garlic can and will burn. And then it gives off this very bitter, horrible taste. And you don't want your dish to taste horrible. Neither do I. All right. There we are. So we've gotten that off. And my smart burner is telling me, add pan. I can almost hear it. All right, so we're going to set the garlic aside because it's going to get to a nice crispy texture for us. Next to that same oil, now that it's garlic infused, I'm going to infuse it with sweet sausage. This is sweet Chinese sausage. And if you haven't had it before, it is such a treat to have. Uh, just to smell it is such a treat. Um, so I'm going to brown that up. Then I'm going to brown up my next twist, which is some chorizo. We cut, got that in uh, two different cuts. Um, you can do it how you'd like it. I julienned a few, and then we have some just round like pepperoni, but it is not pepperoni. It is chorizo. So we're going to go ahead and let that brown up. Check on our grits here instead of the rice, which is typically used. 
It looks like our grits are doing just fabulous. I've turned the burner down to extremely low. I don't know if your burner has an extremely low temperature, but mine does. So we have it on extremely low. And I'm gonna turn over the sweet uh, sausages here. These are so beautiful and the aroma from them is just fabulous. So we're just gonna brown these up. They're gonna look so wonderful on top of the greens. And the greens that we're gonna to use today is double A choy or Chinese broccoli. That's what we're gonna use. We went all Asian today, didn't we? Yep. All right, this is really, really a good dish. I remember when I first made the dish at home, you know, my husband was like, okay, where's the beef? No. He didn't say, where's the beef? He said, where's the meat? Okay, because it was so small and tiny. But once he tasted the dish, it packed such a flavor, he was all right without it. Now, we are going to take out the sweet sausage. Let's use this. And we're gonna add it to this same paper towel so that it can drain. And it doesn't take long, remember? You know, um, I was going to bring on the wok and just cook all of this in a wok, but then I thought about, uh, you know, I sort of kind of like just using, using my pans, you know? But you can use a wok if you'd like. Now, next, this is some really infused oil. You're gonna love that. We're going to add the chorizo. Look how that cooks up. Oh, if you could smell that. Mmm. It's like a chorizo bath. <laughs> oh, this smells so good. There we are. Beautiful. And see, none of this takes long at all. Let me get another paper towel. There we are. We're gonna put the chorizo right in this little tiny bowl here. Oh boy, and look at the oil. Look at the color that it's changed to. It's taken on all of these flavors. And I lifted the pan so that I could stop the cooking as much as I could. You know, at least stop the heat being applied. Now, what I'll do is I'm just gonna turn off the burner while I scrape up the rest of these. Ah, oh, this smells so fabulous. And next, we will add the mushrooms. Now, the mushrooms I'm using are called breech mushrooms. That's B-R-E-E-C-H. And they come in this little cluster like this. And I'm telling you, they are absolutely delicious. They are known as a premium mushroom. Um, and you can eat them... Uh, or you eat them, uh, I, I saute them, and they taste absolutely delicious. Nutty, flavorful. We're gonna put them in the already infused oil. Can you imagine that, having that? Mm. They, they are absolutely delicious. And with those mushrooms, I'm gonna add some parsley. I have chopped here. Probably gonna add a little more, let me just move my mushrooms around. Move over bacon. Here comes breech mushrooms. <laughs> now they are going to cook and naturally on their own, they come with this, this nutty flavor that is just out of this world. But can you imagine now they're being sauteed in a chorizo sweet pepper garlic oil. Mmm, doesn't get any better than that. So I'm just gonna chop 
up this parsley. And this might be enough. I thought I was going to add a little extra. Let me turn the burner down. And it's going to be so flavorful. Now, because we have the oil going on, this flavorful oil, the parsley is going to crisp up a bit. But guess what? It will join the crispy garlic. Yeah, right on time. Let me turn this over or turn it around. Look at how beautiful golden brown they are turning. I'm telling you, when I first made the entire dish, my husband said, okay, that's in acquired taste. While two of my three uh, children said, this is really good and continued to eat and eat and eat. And then my husband said, okay, you know what? This is really good. And I said, yes, I know. It's certainly something different because these are different flavors. And what I'm hoping to do is to engage you in trying something new and something different. And it is really good. And the sauce we're going to make is just fabulous. I'm going to add my parsley. Look at those colors. Beautiful. All right. So we're going to just fry that up. Now, we are going to go to a station break. And when we return, I will have removed the mushrooms. I'll have stirred the grits to make sure that they are doing just fine. And we will start on our Chinese broccoli and get this whole thing set up so we can dig in. I'll see you in just a few. Hello and welcome back for a whole new season of Simply Fresh Food with Chef Renee. We'll be preparing dishes from all around the world, right here in our kitchen. So get ready, get set, and come along with me as we travel the world. Be sure to check your local listings for show times. See you in the kitchen. Welcome back. We are on almost the last leg of our kanji food today. So I have some water boiling. I've added a little bit of salt and we are going to add our fresh Chinese broccoli. That's There we are. And we're going to use that same bowl when it's done to remove it from the pot. Just dry up my hands. Let's get going on this sauce. You're going to love it. I have here sesame oil. Mm. I just love sesame oil. It's hard for me not to use it once I start using it. It's like all week my family has to get ready because I'm using sesame oil all week. All right, so I have sesame oil. And here, let's see, I have oyster sauce. So we're going to get out the oyster sauce. All of that yummy, yummy goodness. And here, remember that infused oil? It was infused with the sweet Chinese sausage, with the chorizo, as well as uh, the garlic. Can't forget our garlic. So I'm going to pour that in here. You need, um, you know, maybe close to six tablespoons for how much I'm using. So we're going to add that, all that delicious flavor. Okay, and here, the chicken stock. Remember the chicken stock that we used for the grits that had the scallions in it, um, as well as the ginger 
and the onions. Well, I have some of that same chicken stock here. Uh, you would use this or you could use water, but why waste all that flavor, right? Okay, so I have all of those in here and I'm going to whisk. Now, I've moved the chicken stock over to the side because what I want you to see is how thick this um, sauce is going to become with those ingredients that I have in it. You see how that consistency has changed? Look at that. Mm. It smells really, really good. Mm. Perfect, perfect. That is exactly what we are looking for. All right, so I'm going to put that aside and later uh, transfer it to a squirt bottle. This is fabulous. Now, we have the greens on, or our Chinese broccoli. Let's stir that. And you want these for uh, maybe no longer than about five or so minutes. They're still going to have a slight firm and crunch to them from the, um, the stem inside, not the bottoms of the stems, but inside. Because it's a beautiful, long, leafy green vegetable. Look at that. Just beautiful. And we don't have to shock this. All right. So I usually cook this and then give, up a give a taste to it to make sure it is the texture that I wanted. But since I've made it so much, no need to taste. We are almost set for plating. Let's just get this out and then we will be ready. All right, now that we have our greens out, we are going to plate and eat. Let's get some of this stuff out of the way. Well, you know what? I think I'm gonna leave that there till I get my grits out. Yes. Oh, look, I have a spoon right here for them. There we are. Let's get the plate. And I'm gonna go with blue today. Isn't that just beautiful? I thought that'd be lovely with the grits. So we're gonna get a little bit of the grits out. Okay, more than a little bit. Ooh, they look just delicious. Mm, mm, mm. And I like to give myself and my guests a nice serving of that. Look at that, just beautiful. Very, very, very flavorful. We're gonna put the lid back on there. We are next going to grab some of the greens. Now, remember, I told you that the greens were bitter, and that is true, but that the sauce would be the thing that thickens uh, or that sweetens it up, brings just the perfect taste to it. Let's move that. Well, and remember I also told you about all of the toppings that we made earlier. Well, here they are. So, we have our greens on here and I have the, some of the sauce right here in a squirt bottle. Nice and convenient. So you just want to shake it up. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And now we will get some of the chorizo. Yay! And here are some of the roasted sweet pepper strips. Isn't that just beautiful? 
and Chef Renee's kick up roasted tomatoes. We got our scallions, just gonna drizzle. And you know what? Let's get some of the mushrooms. Look at that. How beautiful. Just fabulous. And I'm not forgetting my broccoli, uh, my garlic. Just gonna sprinkle a little. Now, I do have uh, some ginger that we put on top just because of the color, but it also adds like a final kick, like hello. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that and put it on top. How about that? Isn't that just gorgeous? And I can't forget, which I almost forgot, our cilantro. Just fabulous. Remember, cilantro and coriander, same thing. So we have some cilantro right here, fresh. And you don't want to chop it up. If you want to pull it apart, that's fine and dandy. Now, what I found at home was that last thing that it needed that my husband wanted was another kick of love. There we go. So there are our toppings. Time for me to dig in. Let me get a fork. A bigger fork. That's what I was looking for, yeah. All right, here we go. Want to make sure I get some of those grits. Ugh. Some cilantro and a mushroom. Mm. This is fabulous. Your family's going to love it. Your friend's going to love it. You are going to love it. Simply Fresh Foods with Chef Renee is sponsored by Red Tail Heart and Volrath Cookware. <laughs>